Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Saturday, December 21st, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in football for Saturday in just a moment. First quick note, if you've yet to take advantage and become a member over at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, there's a very cool way to do it. You get a free $60 account. You can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else over at DocSports.com. All you got to do to get started, click on the link below this video and again, get yourself set up for a free $60 account. And again, use it on any of our daily packages over at DocSports.com. Great way to give DocSports a trial run. Uh, Going to get to a free football pick in just a moment. We've got our bowl package up there. In fact, I'm doing uh, this video early as I always do on Fridays throughout the course of the football season. So my Kent State, Utah State play is just underway in the college football bowl action. I've got seven more plays to go, including three college football bowl plays between Saturday and next Thursday. And I've got my entire weekend of NFL, four big plays. There are two seven unit plays in this package. First time all year doing that. There's a six unit play in this package. That's three elite level plays. First time I've done this all year long over at DocSports.com exclusively by football plays. So be sure to go grab the football package right now. It's available. DocSports.com. Also available right now my UFC picks for Saturday's card. And we've got them up early. We put them up last night even because you've got it, uh, the card going on in Korea, South Korea. And because of that, the card gets underway early. In fact, my first fight goes around 305 3 10 a.m. Eastern time, and uh, you don't want to miss out. I got two plays. We're on a real nice run, 67% winning fight run. UFC plays available right now for Saturday morning's card, and also, again, uh, the football package. Seven more plays to go, all available right now, including both seven-unit plays and the six-unit play. 38 and 21, by the way, 64% is our current run over the past eight weeks in football, so you don't want to miss out. Uh, also wanted to mention uh, my next week of bowl games will be available for those of you who have asked. Next Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. We'll talk a little bit more about that as we get closer uh, to that date, to next Thursday. Basketball. we got a ton of college basketball going on on Saturday's card. I've got a multi-play card for Saturday that will be posted at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific over at DocSports.com. And you know the drill with NBA and hockey, 1 p.m. Eastern release time at DocSports. Also, don't forget that I will likely have a college basketball free pick video uh, that will be up and available by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific on Saturday morning. So look for that also. All right, let's get to our free pick. Oh, before I get to the free pick, I kind of wanted to give you a, a betting report on Saturday's action in the NFL. You've got the Rams at San Francisco where the Niners are laying six and a half. Total down to 44 and a half, you know, from our other NFL video that we uh, recommended to play on the under in that game has come down a half a point since we cut that video. But how about this? Over 75% of the tickets and the money are on the Niners as far as the side is concerned, yet that number's been holding steady at six and a half. So some respected money possibly on the Rams at some of these books. Buffalo at New England, which we have a free pick in that game coming up in just a second. New England laying six and a half, total 37. Uh, over 60% of the tickets are on the Bills. Over 50% of the money is on the Bills. However, you know New England is going to be one of the heavy uh, usage teams, if you will, on two team NFL party, excuse me, two team NFL teasers for this weekend. Six point teasers. They'll be all over New England, and they already have started to do so in some books in Southern Nevada. Uh, in the other game is Houston at Tampa Bay. Houston laying three. The total is 50. And we're talking again over 75% of the tickets and the money on the Houston Texans in this game. That number holding steady at three. Also wanted to mention on Saturday's bowl card, if you haven't heard by now, uh, Florida Atlantic suspended a bunch of players, a lot of skill position players, a couple of the running backs, a couple of the wide receivers, and we're talking receivers with huge, uh, I guess you could say, just a, a big deal to this team, to this offense, uh, just huge implications for FIU in this game potentially, and that number, which was SMU laying around a field goal, is all the way up to eight. It went from three to six when the announcement of the suspensions first came out. It is now up as high as eight. SMU the favorite. That game at Boca Raton, all those important 
key suspensions to FAU. I stayed off the game myself. I decided not to play the contest, and uh, we'll see if the adjustment on that money uh, ends up being the right adjustment or not. So I know people who were on F FAU before were thinking about jumping in that still jumped in at plus all those points. We have a complete pass. No recommendation, no opinion, no premium pick on the SMU FAU game. So uh, basically that's your betting report for Saturday in football. Now let's get to my free pick in Saturday's action and it's New England and Buffalo at Gillette Stadium. New England laying six and a half total 37. Uh, listen, if you looked at this game and the way uh, these two teams hooked up several weeks ago in Buffalo, you saw that Buffalo probably should have won that game. They certainly could have won that game. New England closed as a seven point road favorite. Here they are at home laying six and a half as we speak. Two ways to look at it. Uh, is New England looking too easy at minus six and a half or is it a situation where you are getting value on the Patriots only laying six and a half at home? I happen to be the one of those guys who thinks you're getting a little bit of value on New England. Uh, the running game was great last week, 175 yards, five and a half yards per play, albeit against Cincinnati. But Buffalo can be had at times uh, on the, in the running game as far as their defense is concerned. The difference in this game for me, not only that I think New England can run the football, is that New England's already seen uh, Josh Allen once this season. They've seen this offense. Uh, he's not proven yet that he can put the onus of the offense on his shoulders and win games for this team when he has to go up top in the passing game. And I think you're going to see New England have a defense that's ready to force Josh Allen to make plays that maybe he's not capable of making yet. And if he tries to throw on this backfield, forget about it. Stephon Gilmore is playing incredible football right now, along with his defensive backmates. The one thing you can do at times against New England, run the football, uh, but I think they'll be ready for the Buffalo offense. And uh, listen, if you look at the Bills and the teams they've beaten to get to this record, all right, they've got like the second easiest strength of schedule in the NFL. Check out seven of their wins this season. They beat the Jets, the Giants, the Bengals, the Redskins, the Dolphins twice, and the Broncos. That's seven wins against teams with a combined record of 23 wins and 75 losses, 235 football, and of course, counting the Dolphins in there twice. So if you're going to complain about New England's easy schedule a few weeks ago when things got a little iffy for this team, then you got to also include that in your mix when it comes to handicapping the Buffalo Bills. I think it's six and a half. It's the Patriots or nothing. So I have an opinion, a free pick on the New England Patriots minus the points over the Buffalo Bills. All right, listen, uh, again, don't forget about what we got going on, the football package. Seven plays remain, four from the NFL, three from the Bulls over the next several days into Thursday's games, and that includes a couple of seven-unit plays, a six-unit play, also basketball, college, bunch of games available, 11.30 a.m. Eastern Saturday, NBA at 1 p.m. Eastern. Let's keep that football run going uh, again as we're 38 and 21 last eight weeks heading into this weekend. All right, that's going to do it for me. Again, the free pick is the New England Patriots minus the points. And uh, listen, if you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Be right back here Sunday by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific at the very latest, probably earlier than that with a free pick from Sunday's NFL. We'll talk to you then. Let's put Saturday in the win column.